Jake Whites has left 11 Springboks back in Pretoria ahead of their quarterfinal clash in the Champions Cup against the Northampton Saints. In this video, I'm going to be breaking down exactly why Jake Whites has left those 11 Springboks at home and give you a bit of a preview and prediction for this quarterfinal between the Bulls and Northampton Saints. Guys, before we get into the video, I just want to make you aware that 93% of you that watch this channel on a regular basis are not subscribed. So if you can ask kindly, please hit that subscribe button. By you subscribing, helps us to make better videos for you guys and my goal is to get that percentage down to 50 percent let's get in to the video now last week in the round of 16 the bulls played leon and ended up absolutely demolishing them 59 19 and sa rugby didn't want to invest the flights all the way back to england before they knew the result of the round of 16 game which is which is fair enough but the bulls then had to go and travel on tuesday land on wednesday and then they have to play the northampton saints on the saturday today in a Champions Cup quarterfinal and given the schedule that the Bulls have had they were in Dublin two weeks ago then they flew back played at Loftus now they're flying back to England to play Northampton Saints and then they have to fly back to play Munster uh, in the URC at home next weekend so Jake White and and SA Rugby have been locking horns a, a little bit over the past sort of week or so just be, with the disorganization how can the flights be delayed how can these teams fly on different flights to the same location landing at different airports at different times it just doesn't make any sense when you're looking at the highest level of professional rugby that's under international rugby this never happens with professional football teams and I do know there's a lot more money in football but surely by now there has to be some sort of a plan or strategy to counteract these type of situations because how the Bulls meant to put their best foot forward uh, in this quarterfinal against the Northampton Saints if they only get there on the Wednesday if all of this all of this logistical stuff is an issue they've had to fly on multiple different international flights over the last three uh, weeks and yes schedule is a schedule the game is the game but surely there has to be a better strategy implemented by SA Rugby now due to all this heavy travel this has forced Jake White to leave 11 Springboks at home which means that the Bulls the Bulls team that's going to Northampton Saints is somewhat of a second string side because they can't put all their eggs in one basket in this quarterfinal and then lose against Munster and Ospreys in the next two weeks in the URC because the Bulls are placed very very well in the URC they want to have a home quarterfinal a home semi-final and potentially even a home final so it doesn't make sense to take their best team all the way to England to potentially play in this quarterfinal, lose, and then have to fly back and play against Munster, which is another very, very difficult uh, fixture. With all that said, all the travel issues, the 11 Springboks not flying to England. Let's get in, preview this game, and then I'm going to give you my prediction for this game. My prediction was a lot tighter a couple of days ago, but since this news has dropped, I do think Northampton Saints are absolutely massive favorites here. Now, the Saints played against Munster in the round of 16 and ended up beating them 24-14. It was uh, a draw at halftime, 14-14, but then Northampton Saints got the job done in the second half. They're also one of the most informed rugby sides in the world at the moment. They've won their last 12 out of 13 games. They're unbeaten in the Champions Cup. They sit at the top of the English Premiership. They are just a seriously dangerous side at the moment. So you can understand why Jake White left 11 Springboks at home because even if he brought them with this is still going to be a very very difficult fixture that isn't guaranteed for them to win so maybe just take a bit of a knock on the chin go there send a second string side maybe they surprise Northampton Saints maybe they surprise everyone and beat them but even with a strong side it was always going to be a difficult game so this is going to make it even more difficult now I spoke a little bit about the Bulls game against Leon in the round of 16 where they absolutely dominated winning 59-19 scoring nine tries the Bulls are also in very very good form with seven wins from their last eight games that loss came against Leinster when they flew to Dublin a couple of weeks ago they were leading at half time and then Leinster made a lot of changes at half time brought on some international players and then blew the Bulls out of the water I do think you can blame a little bit of that on the travel and that's the the fitness and fatigue in that second half probably setting more for the Bulls 
than it did for Leinster. So knowing all of these facts, that the Northampton Saints are one of the best form sides in the world at the moment, that Jake White has left 11 Springboks at home. I'm talking uh, Kirtley, Arnsa, Kanan Moody, Vili LaRue, Marco van Staden. There are a lot of Springboks left off of that Bulls team sheet. So it's going to be a very, very difficult game for them. I had Northampton Saints by 12 points a couple of days ago, but I do think it's going to be more than that. I'm going to go Northampton Saints by 18 points here. May hopefully for me, the Bulls can pull off a miracle, but I'm just not sure. And that's all I have for you guys today. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments about Jake White leaving out 11 Springboks and all these travel issues. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Peace.